Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Today I'm going to show you the best way to make an amazing looking subscribe button for your videos, just like this one. And here's the thing, we're going to kick it up a notch. We're really going to take this to the next level. And even if you've got no technical ability whatsoever, I promise you, this is going to be really easy to do. And even by the end of this, if you're like, ah, oh, I just can't. I've got a solution for that as well. But you can follow along. All you need is After Effects. Even get a trial and see how you get on. And don't be afraid of it. This is easy. Let's get into it. I'm in After Effects. We're going to create a new composition. So first off, let's hit new composition. We're going to have 1920 by 1080. Let's go with 30 frames a second. Let's make this like eight seconds. Let's press OK. And now we have our timeline. So what we want to do here and this is easy. Don't freak out. I'm telling you now, do not freak out. This is easy. Follow along. And if you get stuck, by the way, pause the video, go back, and you'll be good. First off, I want to select this tool up here. I'm going to select the rounded rectangle tool. I'm going to make this one white. Of course, you can make this whatever color you want. We're going to have no stroke in this. So I'm going to hit the stroke button. I'm going to hit this one here for none. Press OK. Now I'm just going to drag out my shape. Whatever size you want, you can make it bigger or smaller. But remember, this is going on the bottom of the screen, so you don't want to take up too much, just enough. So the next step here is to position this where we want. This is what I want to do, just to get an idea of how it's going to work. Next step is to pre-compose this. So I'm going to select pre-compose. I'm just going to call it BG for background, because this is going to be where all the action happens. Going to make sure our background layer is selected. Going to go up here, keep the left mouse button pressed down. I'm going to select Ellipse Tool. Back down onto our background layer, keep the Shift key pressed. So we're drawing our mask or our circle. This is where our beautiful photo is going to go. I'm going to select none on this for now. I'm going to press the V key. I'm going to highlight all of these. And I'm just going to move it around ever so slightly. And if we want, we can make this bigger. But I think this looks pretty good. Next step then is select subtract. So we're cutting out that and this is where our picture is going to go or a photo or a view or whatever, right? Next up, I'm going to bring in my photo. So I'm going to right click in the project here, import file. Then I'm going to drag this down and then this is underneath. So we can see this is a bit too big. So let's make this small by pressing S once this is highlighted for the scale. And let's bring it down to a size that looks pretty okay. So essentially what we want to do is just fill the background here. On this photo, I'm going to draw masks. So I'm going to go back up here, rectangle tool. And we're just going to draw around the edges so we can see that if we hide our background, this is what we have got. Okay. Now there's ways you can move this around and you can scale it up simply by pressing P on the keyboard for position if you want to move it around a little bit. Or we can scale it back down another bit if needs be, but that's a little bit too much, but you get the idea. So now let's build in our text and our actual subscribe button. So for the subscribe button, we are going to create another red shape. So up here, let's go to around it rectangle tool. I'm going to go with one here, just like this. We're going to go up and change the fill to red. And we're going to have no stroke. Ken, if you wanted to add a little stroke, you could, but we're not. And I'm going to darken this red just a smidge. And that is our little subscribe button. But we're missing the subscribe text. So this is what we're going to put in. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to say text. I'm going to call subscribe. I'm going to highlight all of this. And of course, we can change the size of the font to whatever we want. I'm going to drag this down around here so we can move it onto the actual button itself. So now we can see we have got our subscribe button. So we are quickly building out this entire YouTube subscribe button. As you can see, pretty easy. Couple of shapes, bit of text, boom. Now what I would like to do is I want to animate this. So if we go to effects and presets, we go to animation presets and we go to text. There's animate in and animate out. So we can have different ways of doing this. There's loads of them here. Try them all out. I'd like to do maybe like a typewriter. Just drag it onto the text. And we can see it's going to type out like that, which if we press space, probably a little bit too slow. So if we press U on the text layer or subscribing, we can see the start here. This is a range selector for the typewriter. So these two dots are keyframes. If 
we put these closer together, it gets faster. I'm going to put my name in here and some funny quirky text. So let's go new, let's go text, pick Barry. So let's position this. And of course we want to change the color of this as well because it is white. Let's change it to black so we can actually see it. I'm going to change this to a bit of a heavier font, like bold possibly. I'm going to shrink it down a bit. Let's bring it down to 90. Let's have another text box in underneath if you want to add something hilarious and funny. Now what we want to do is add some other animations to this. So let's highlight my name or your name. Let's go back to our effects and presets. Of course, you can do these yourself if you want, but I'm just going to do a simple fade up on this one so we can see fades in nice. And again, if we press U, we can see the keyframes and we can make this start and end a little bit closer. It's now a little bit faster. And let's highlight the two of these and let's move them back. And there we go. So now that we've added all the building blocks for our subscribe button, let's take it up to a whole new level altogether. So let's bring in a mouse pointer. Just make sure it's a PNG mouse pointer. You can find all of these free PNGs all over the internet. So find one that you like the look of. For me, I'm after grabbing this one. So I'm going to drag it up here and we can see, ooh, okay, that's a bit big. So let's press S. Let's scale it down to like 25. And that's it. So we've got our mouse pointer. Now, how do we move it? Well, I'm going to press P in the keyboard here. And as we can see, we can now move it around. So how do we get it to say to go from the bottom of the screen up to the top? So I'm going to position it down here off the screen. I'm going to select a little stopwatch icon here. And then I'm just going to move it up. And now we've created a beginning and end. So our mouse pointer pops up. And then let's say it's going click and then it goes away. So I'm going to create another keyframe and then we're just going to have it shoot back down just like that. So we're get the mouse pointer up, click, boom, done, gone. Now you can see subscribe hasn't really changed. So how do we change that and add even more polish to this epic YouTube subscribe button? We're going to duplicate our text. I'm going to say subscribed. And then where we have our mouse click, we're going to cut all of the text. So here's our click is happening around here. Anywhere here is our click. So we're going to position our subscribe text here on the invisible click. And then we're going to cut the subscribe. And then as you can see, we can go boom. And then to take this up another level, let's duplicate our shape layer. And again, similar idea. What we want to do here is change the color of this. So let's select a drop down arrow here. Let's go down to contents. Let's go to rectangle. Let's go to fill. And then we've got our color. So let's change this to something else. Like let's go with this gray. And then it's as easy as cutting this or just dragging it out here and changing things around where the click is. So now we're going from red to gray, meaning it's clicked. Want to know how to take this up to another level? Of course you do. Let's add some sound effects into this. What about a mouse click? And there's a very good reason for adding sound effects into these, by the way, because people expect to hear a click. When you see a mouse, you're kind of waiting, where's the click? So it's a bit more natural and it's a bit easier for them then to go, oh, maybe I should click because there's an audible cue. So I'm going to jump onto Epidemic Sound, who are the sponsors of today's video. And I'm going to go into the sound effects library here. And as you can see, they've got a ton of sound effects. In fact, Epidemic Sound have over 90 thousand sound effects 90,000 sound effects i think if you can't find an epidemic sound for a sound effect it doesn't exist 90,000 all we got to do is search mouse click and then we've got a whole ton of different mouse clicks i like the apple ones but again as you can see there's lots of them so i'm going to download this and then i'm going to bring this into after effects just before we get to that, Epidemic Sound are the sponsors of today's video. They have, as I said, over 90,000 sound effects, over 32,000 professionally produced tracks. There is some amazing music on there. I have been using these guys for 
years. And the good thing is when you use a service like Epidemic Sound, you never really have to worry at all about copyright strikes or any takedowns or even losing your channel. So when you are using music from Epidemic Sound, you can forget about all of that stress. It's one less thing to worry about. And if you can't find a sound effect or music on there, it's, it's insane the selection of stuff that they have. I've left a link in the description for the video for you guys to get your own sound effects, get your own music. It's a 30 day trial and all the stuff is yours. Download free, use it for whatever you want. Check it out and let me know how you get on and how you actually use it because I'm always interested in learning new ways to use sound effects and music. So maybe you can teach me like I'm teaching you right now. So let's get this mouse click back into After Effects. Let's right click here, let's go import, let's bring in our mouse click and we want to get the mouse click in here. Doesn't matter really where, we can press L twice here so we can actually see the click on this little wave. And then let's go, so our click is happening here. Let's move it up, click, done. So now you've added a serious level of polish to this entire YouTube subscribe button. But it gets better. Let's add a little bit more to the whole thing. And if you've been following along and you've been doing well, awesome. If not, I've left a link in the description for a Mogurt that you can pick up and you can customize it to your heart's content. But let's get in and just finish this off and make it stand out from everything else that's out there. So I'm going to highlight everything here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to pre-compose. I'm going to press OK. And now as we can see, all this is in one spot. So what do we do here? Well, what I want to do is add some motion to this. And so it comes onto screen. It just doesn't bang up instantly. So we can have it swipe in from the side or above or wherever you want. And we do this by simply selecting P in the keyboard, having a keyframe. So this is the where it wants to be. So let's go from the bottom, which is what I like to do. Let's bring it down a bit. Let's add some motion blur here so we get that cinematic motion blur. Let's highlight the two of these keyframes. Let's go to keyframe assistant. Let's select easy ease. And now there we go. So up comes our mouse, click, boom, gone. How easy is that guys? Seriously, how easy is that? I've left a link in the description, by the way, you can pick up this Mogurt for a limited time only. If you don't want to build it out yourself in After Effects, I get it. Not everybody's got the time. You might be a little bit confused, but you don't. Honestly, it's been really easy, but Link in the description if you want to pick up this mogul and blow everybody away. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, this one here might really hook you up for social media, Lord Thirds. Don't stop fighting for yourself. Pfft.